In the heart of Pasadena, California, two brothers, Eddie and Alex Van Halen, discovered their passion for music. Born to a musical family, the sounds of classical piano and clarinet resonated through their childhood home, shaping their early musical experiences. Their father, Jan Van Halen, a professional clarinetist, and mother, Eugenia, fostered a love for music within their hearts, unknowingly setting the stage for a revolution in rock and roll. The Van Halen brothers were first introduced to classical music, with Eddie initially playing the drums and Alex the guitar. Yet destiny had a different plan. They switched instruments, a decision that would later prove instrumental in crafting the distinctive Van Halen sound. Eddie's innovative guitar playing style and Alex's powerful drumming laid the foundation for their musical journey. Their early influences ranged from the complex structures of classical music to the raw energy of rock and roll, creating a unique blend that would become their signature. Their passion for music led them to form their first band, the Broken Combs, while they were still in elementary school. This was the brothers' first taste of performing and they loved every minute of it. It was during these early years that they honed their skills, performing at local parties, school events and any place that would let them play. They knew they were onto something special, a sound that was uniquely their own. With a burning desire to create music that was different and a dedication to their craft, they continued to experiment and push the boundaries of their sound. Their musical journey was not without its challenges. The brothers faced numerous rejections and setbacks, but their unwavering determination and belief in their music kept them going. Their shared dream of making it big in the music industry fueled their ambition, and they tirelessly worked towards achieving it. Thus, the seeds were planted for what would soon become one of rock music's most influential bands. In their quest for rock and roll domination, the Van Halen brothers crossed paths with David Lee Roth and Michael Anthony. This marked the beginning of an extraordinary journey, one that would shape the future of rock music. Eddie and Alex Van Halen, armed with their musical talent and a shared passion for rock, were on the lookout for like-minded musicians to complete their band. Enter David Lee Roth, a flamboyant vocalist with a larger-than-life personality. Roth who was renting a sound system to the Van Halen brothers, caught their attention with his unique voice and charismatic stage presence. Sensing Roth's potential, the brothers invited him to join their band. And just like that, a crucial piece of the Van Halen puzzle fell into place. Michael Anthony, a talented bassist with a knack for harmonies, was the final addition to the band. His strong backing vocals and solid bass lines provided the perfect counterpoint to Eddie's virtuosic guitar playing and Roth's theatrical vocals. With Anthony on board, the band's lineup was complete. They were now ready to conquer the world of rock and roll. But success didn't come easy. The early days were marked by relentless gigging, with the band playing anywhere and everywhere they could. From high school dances to dingy bars, Van Halen took every opportunity to hone their craft and build their fan base. They were determined to make their mark, and they wouldn't let anything stand in their way. Despite the challenges, the band's unwavering belief in their music and their tenacious pursuit of success kept them going. They knew they had something special, something that could change the face of rock music, and they were willing to fight for it. The journey was tough, but it was all worth it. With their lineup solidified and their music refined, Van Halen was ready to take the world by storm. They were poised for greatness, ready to carve out their place in rock and roll history. With the band finally formed, Van Halen was ready to make their mark on the music world. In 1978, Van Halen released their self-titled debut album, a record that would forever change the landscape of rock music. This was no ordinary album. It was a thundering proclamation of a new force in rock a band that brought a fresh and electrifying energy to the scene. The album was an explosive mix of hard rock, heavy metal, and a dash of pop sensibility that made it irresistible to fans and critics alike. Eddie's blistering guitar riffs, Alex's pounding drums, Michael's solid bass, and David's charismatic vocals combined to create a sound that was both groundbreaking and timeless. The album's lead single, Run In With The Devil, showcased the band's raw energy and musical prowess, while Eruption, a dazzling guitar solo by Eddie, left listeners in awe of his innovative techniques. This wasn't just music, 
It was a sonic revolution, an assertion of the band's creative vision, and a challenge to the status quo. The album shot up the charts, reaching the 19th spot on the Billboard 200, and eventually went on to be certified diamond, signifying 10 million copies sold in the United States alone. While the album's success was meteoric, the band's rise to fame was anything but overnight. It was the culmination of years of hard work, relentless gigging, and a steadfast belief in their music. The band toured extensively to support the album, their live shows becoming legendary for their high-energy performances and on-stage antics. This debut album was a game-changer. It heralded a new era in rock music and set the stage for Van Halen's illustrious career. It inspired countless musicians and left an indelible mark on the music industry. The band's unique blend of musical styles, their innovative approach to songwriting, and their sheer talent set them apart from their peers and established them as a force to be reckoned with. Van Halen had arrived, and the world of rock music would never be the same. Eddie Van Halen wasn't just a rock star, he was a revolutionary force in the world of guitar playing. This statement rings true for anyone who's ever strummed a guitar, belted out a power chord, or attempted a finger-tapping solo. Eddie's influence on the world of guitar playing was nothing short of groundbreaking. Born with a natural talent and an insatiable thirst for innovation, Eddie Van Halen spent countless hours honing his craft. He was relentless in his pursuit of the perfect sound, constantly tinkering with his instrument and equipment. His guitar wasn't just a tool, it was an extension of his very soul. Perhaps the pinnacle of Eddie's innovation was his legendary Eruption Solo. This one minute and 42 second piece of music, tucked away on Van Halen's debut album, was a seismic event in the world of rock guitar. With Eruption, Eddie introduced the world to his trademark finger-tapping technique. His fingers danced along the fretboard, creating a rapid-fire cascade of notes that seemed almost impossible to replicate. It was fast, it was furious, and it was unlike anything anyone had ever heard before. Eruption was more than just a guitar solo. It was a statement. It announced to the world that Eddie Van Halen was not just another rock guitarist. He was an innovator, a pioneer, a virtuoso. With a single track, he had shattered the boundaries of what was thought possible on the guitar. The influence of Eddie's innovative techniques can still be felt today. Generations of guitarists have been inspired by his fearless exploration of the instrument's potential. His innovations have become a staple in the world of rock guitar, forever changing the way the instrument is played. Eddie Van Halen had not only defined the sound of the band, but he had also redefined the very art of guitar playing. His legacy is etched into the strings of every electric guitar, in every power chord, and in every finger-tapping solo. Eddie Van Halen didn't just play the guitar, he transformed it. He took an instrument and turned it into a revolution, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the mark of a true guitar god. With their innovative music and electrifying live performances, Van Halen quickly became one of the biggest rock bands on the planet. Their journey to stardom was illuminated with a series of successful albums that not only skyrocketed their fame, but also solidified their place in the annals of rock history. Their sophomore album, Van Halen II, was a testament to their raw energy and musical prowess. With chart-topping hits like Dance the Night Away, it was clear that Van Halen was not just a flash in the pan. They were here to stay, and they were going to do it their way. But the band didn't stop with one successful album. The year 1980 saw the release of Women and Children First. This album was a departure from their previous work, showcasing a more mature sound and a band that wasn't afraid to experiment and push boundaries. The album was a massive hit, further cementing Van Halen's status as a rock powerhouse. And then came the tours. Van Halen's live shows were nothing short of electrifying. They were known for their high-energy performances, with David Lee Roth's flamboyant stage presence and Eddie Van Halen's jaw-dropping guitar solos. These tours weren't just concerts. They were experiences that left the audience spellbound and wanting more. The band's onstage chemistry was palpable, and their love for what they did was evident in every note they played. Their performances were a spectacle of sound and visuals, with each show being a testament to their dedication to giving their fans the best experience possible. Van Halen's glory days were a time of wild success and iconic tours. It was a period when they were at the top of their game, and they were not just playing music, they were creating a legacy. They were a force to be reckoned with, 
a band that was making history with every song they released and every show they played. At the height of their fame, Van Halen was unstoppable. Their music was not just sound, it was an experience, an embodiment of the spirit of rock and roll, and they were just getting started. In 1985, Van Halen underwent a significant change when David Lee Roth left the band and Sammy Hagar stepped in as the new frontman. This transition marked the beginning of a new era for Van Halen, an era of change, evolution and exploration. As the band set out on this new journey, they were faced with a challenge. How to maintain their identity and continue the legacy they had built with Roth, while also embracing the fresh energy and style that Hagar brought to the table. The departure of Roth, with his flamboyant stage presence and edgy vocal style, was a shock to many fans. Roth was synonymous with Van Halen's sound, and his exit left a void that was not easy to fill. But Sammy Hagar, known for his powerful vocals and charismatic personality, stepped into the role with confidence and passion. With Hagar on board, Van Halen's music took on a different flavor. The raw, hard rocking sound of the Roth era gave way to a more melodic, polished style. The band's music became more varied, incorporating elements of pop and adult contemporary into their characteristic rock sound. Hagar's songwriting and vocal range allowed the band to explore new musical territories, resulting in chart-topping hits like Why Can't This Be Love and Right Now. This change in sound was not without controversy. Fans were divided, with some embracing the new direction, while others longed for the raw energy of the Roth era. But through it all, the band remained undeterred, they continued to push boundaries, experiment with their sound, and deliver electric performances that kept audiences coming back for more. Despite the changes, Van Halen continued to rock, proving their resilience and adaptability. The Hager era, while different from the Roth era, was a testament to the band's versatility and their ability to evolve while staying true to their roots. It was a period of growth and exploration that further solidified Van Halen's status as one of the greatest rock bands of all time. Behind the scenes, Van Halen faced their share of struggles, particularly Eddie's battle with addiction and health issues. The man who was hailed as a guitar god was, like many legends in the music industry, grappling with the demons of substance abuse. His struggles were not a secret, and they took a toll on both his personal life and the band's journey. Eddie's battle with addiction was a long and arduous one. It was a fight that spanned decades, with the guitarist checking into rehab multiple times. His struggles were not just with substances, but also with health issues, including a battle with tongue cancer. But through it all, Eddie's passion for music, his dedication to his craft, never wavered. But Van Halen's story isn't just about personal battles. It's also about resilience and comebacks. The band had a knack for bouncing back from adversity, they weathered lineup changes, shifting musical trends and personal struggles, always finding a way to return to the stage and the recording studio. One of their most notable comebacks was in 2007, when they announced a reunion tour with original lead singer David Lee Roth. Despite all the past tensions and conflicts, they put their differences aside for the love of music and their fans. The tour was a massive success, proving that Van Halen still had the magic that made them rock legends. Over the years, there were other reunions, other comebacks. Each time, Van Halen proved that they were a force to be reckoned with, that they still had the power to electrify audiences and create music that resonated with fans old and new. Through all the trials and tribulations, Van Halen's spirit remained unbroken. Their story is a testament to their resilience, their passion for music and their unwavering dedication to their fans. They faced their struggles head on always finding a way to turn adversity into a triumphant comeback. That's the spirit of Van Halen. That's the spirit of rock and roll. Throughout their career, Van Halen's music constantly evolved, incorporating various styles and influences. This evolution was not a mere whim, but a testament to the band's relentless pursuit of innovation and originality. Van Halen's early work was characterized by a raw energy and a bluesy hard rock sound punctuated by Eddie Van Halen's groundbreaking guitar techniques. They were the embodiment of the classic rock and roll spirit, but they were never content to simply ride the wave of their early success. As the band matured, they began to experiment with their sound. The addition of Sammy Hagar as the lead vocalist in the mid-80s marked a significant shift. 
With Hagar, Van Halen moved towards a more polished, radio-friendly sound. Their songs became more melodic, with stronger emphasis on harmonies and song structure. This was a departure from their earlier, more aggressive sound, but it showed their versatility and willingness to adapt. But the evolution didn't stop there. Throughout the 90s and into the new millennium, Van Halen continued to push boundaries. They experimented with different musical styles, incorporating elements of funk, pop, and even some progressive rock into their music. They weren't afraid to step outside their comfort zone and push the envelope of what was expected from a rock band. This constant evolution wasn't always met with universal acclaim. Fans and critics alike had their own opinions about the band's changing sound, but Van Halen never let criticism define them. They were artists first and foremost, and their commitment to their craft was unwavering. The band's willingness to evolve and adapt to keep pushing forward regardless of the obstacles is a testament to their enduring spirit. They were not just a band, they were pioneers, constantly seeking new ways to express themselves through their music. They never stopped evolving, never stopped growing. Van Halen's ability to evolve musically ensured their place in the pantheon of rock music. Their legacy is not just one of great songs and electrifying performances, but of constant innovation and an unyielding commitment to their craft. And that is why, decades after their formation, Van Halen remains a vital and influential force in the world of rock and roll. In 1984, Van Halen released their most iconic album, catapulting them to unparalleled heights of fame. This eponymously titled album was a game changer, a grand spectacle of rock and roll that left an indelible mark on the music scene of the 80s. With 1984, Van Halen was on a mission, a mission to create an album that was as audacious as it was groundbreaking, and boy did they deliver. The album was a tour de force, a heady mix of hard rock anthems and synth-driven pop rock tracks that showcased the band's versatility and musical prowess. The album's success was powered by a series of hit singles that quickly became anthems of the era. Who could forget the infectious energy of Jump, with its iconic keyboard intro and Eddie's soaring guitar solo? Then there was Panama, a hard rocking tribute to fast cars and the open road and hot for teacher, a raucous tongue-in-cheek romp that became a staple of MTV. But 1984, Costed, was more than just a collection of hit songs. It was a declaration of intent, a statement of purpose from a band at the height of their powers. It was Van Halen's way of saying, this is who we are, this is what we do. And the world listened. The album was a commercial and critical juggernaut, selling over 10 million copies in the United States alone and peaking at number two on the Billboard 200. It was the band's most successful album to date, and it solidified their status as one of the biggest rock bands in the world. But perhaps more importantly, 1984 was a cultural phenomenon. It was the soundtrack to a generation, a defining moment in the history of rock music. Its influence can still be felt today in the countless bands and artists who cite it as an inspiration. With 1984, Van Halen had not only created a rock masterpiece, but had also defined a generation. Van Halen's influence on rock music and guitar playing continues to resonate with musicians and fans alike. This band, born in the heart of the rock and roll era, has left a seismic impact that has echoed through the decades. Van Halen didn't just play music, they revolutionized it. They challenged the norms, pushed the boundaries, and in the process, redefined the sound of rock. With their electrifying performances, they captivated millions leaving an indelible mark on the music landscape. Their innovative approach to music wasn't just confined to their songs. Eddie Van Halen, with his groundbreaking guitar techniques, transformed the way the instrument was played. His legendary eruption guitar solo is still considered a masterclass by aspiring guitarists. His unique style and creativity continue to inspire musicians around the globe, but the band's enduring influence extends beyond their music, their determination to succeed their ability to overcome personal battles and setbacks, their unwavering commitment to their craft. These are the qualities that have made them a beacon of inspiration for many. The legacy of Van Halen is not just about their chart-topping hits or their sold-out tours. It's about the impact they've had on the lives of countless music lovers and artists. Their music has served as a soundtrack to millions of lives, evoking memories and emotions and creating connections across generations. 
Musicians, fans and industry experts alike all acknowledge the band's profound influence. Testimonials pour in from all corners, each one a testament to the lasting impact of Van Halen. From rock stars to garage bands, from music critics to die-hard fans, the consensus is clear. Van Halen has left an enduring legacy that continues to inspire and captivate. Even today, the legacy of Van Halen continues to inspire and captivate, proving that their music is truly timeless. As we look back at their extraordinary journey, we're reminded that Van Halen's story is not just about their music. It's about their passion, their innovation, their resilience, and their unwavering love for rock and roll. It's a story that will continue to be told and celebrated for as long as music continues to move us.